Good morning children. Welcome to online class. Before we start today's class, let us talk about happiness. What is happiness? You will all agree with me that happiness is helping the poor, the needy, the elderly people, donating money and things, giving hope to others, and helping your parents at home. So happiness is in helping and giving. Today we are going to learn a poem Somebody's Mother by Mary Dobryan. Let us know about the poet Mary Dobryan. Mary Dobryan was born in 1816 in New York. She was an American poet, author, and lyricist. She is best known for her poem Somebody's Mother. As I say mother, the first celebration that comes to our mind is the Mother's Day. On the second Sunday in May 1908, Anna Jarvis honored her late mother Anne Reeves Jarvis by organizing America's first ever Mother's Day services. Anna Jarvis persuaded most states in the Union to observe Mother's Day. Now the tradition of a special day to honor mothers has spread around the world. The key is that our expressions of love and appreciation for our mother come from the sincerity of our hearts. So today we honor mothers, our own and women around us with mothering hearts, whether or not they have been blessed with children. For as the beloved poem by Mary Dobryan reminds us, we are surrounded by women who deserve to be honored on this day and always. So let us learn around the setting and theme of the poem. It was a winter evening. An old woman was waiting to cross a busy road near a school. She was alone woman, although she was very old. Suddenly children came out of the school as it closed for the day. They passed the lonely old woman, but none paid at any attention to the old lady. It so happened that one of the boys, very cheerful and lively, saw this lady waiting to cross the road. He ran to her and helped her cross the road. Later he explained to his friends that one day his own mother could be in a similar situation and that someone else would help her. At home that night, the old lady prayed for the boy who had helped her cross the road. Her heart was overflowing with gratitude and pride. She prayed, God, be kind to him, somebody's son. Here goes the poem. Listen to the model read, reading carefully and learn. The woman was old and dragged and grey and bent with the chill of the winter's day. The street was wet with the recent snow and the women's feet were aged and slow. She stood at the crossing and waited long, alone, uncared for amid the throng. Of human beings who passed her by, none heeded the glance of her anxious eyes. Down the street, with laughter and shout, glad in the freedom of school let out. Came the boys like a flock of sheep, hailing the snow piled white and deep. 
past the woman so old and grey, hastened the children on their way. None offered a helping hand to her, so meek, so timid, afraid to stir. Lest the carriage wheels or the horse's feet should crowd her down in the slippery street. At last came one of the merry troop, the gayest lady of all the group. He paused beside her and whispered low, I will help you cross if you wish to go. Her aged hand on his strong young arm she placed, and so without hurt or harm. He guided the trembling feet along, proud that his own were firm and strong. Then back again to his friends he went, his young heart happy and well content. She's somebody's mother. Boys, you know, for all she's aged and poor and slow. And I hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother, you understand? If ever she's poor and old and grey, when her own dear boy is far away. And somebody's mother bowed low her head. In her home that night, and the prayer she said was, God, be kind to the noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy. Okay, children, that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll learn the figures of speech from this poem, its rhyme scheme and the central idea in detail. We will also learn the meaning stanza wise. Children, note down the homework. Learn the first 12 lines of the poem. Thank you.